One of the best things of California is its nature, which is protected within the wide system of national parks and monuments in the US. In this video, I'll cover every national park in California. Channel Islands, Death Valley, Joshua Tree, Lesson Volcanic, Pinnacles, Redwood, Sequoia and Kings Canyon, and Yosemite. You'll get tips which specific places you should visit, when it's the best time of the year to visit, which wildlife you can expect to spot, and more. Later in this video, you'll hear some more important tips for visiting the national parks, so make sure to pay attention. But for now, let's stop talking and start with number 9, which is Lesson Volcanic National Park. If you love hydrothermal features like hissing fumaroles and bubbling mud pots, Lesson Volcanic, located in the northeast corner of the Golden State, would be the best national park for you. Sometimes called a mini Yellowstone, this park's best places are Bumpass Hell, which features the largest concentration of hydrothermal features within the park, Lesson Peak, one of the largest plug dome volcanoes on Earth, and fantastic lava beds, which were created by flowing lava. Lesson Volcanic National Park is home to a wide array of wildlife, including bobcats, American black bears, mountain lions, coyotes, weasels, foxes, and skunks. Depending on how much of Lesson Volcanic you want to see, plan one to five days for your visit, which is best from July, when the roads usually open, till October, when snow starts to set again. Number eight, Channel Islands National Park, also known as the Galapagos of North America. Channel Islands National Park encompasses five of the eight California Channel Islands and the ocean surrounding them for one mile, and each island offers different, unique experiences. More than 2,000 animal and plant species call Anacapa, Santa Cruz, Santa Rosa, San Miguel and Santa Barbara Island their home, and 145 of them are not found elsewhere. If you love kayaking or plan to go hiking, Santa Cruz Island would be your best option. But also Anacapa Island has breathtaking views and you'll see countless seabirds. While each season has its pros and cons, the peak seasons for snorkeling, diving and kayaking are summer and fall. Blue and humpback whale watching season also lasts from summer to early fall. Other wildlife you can expect to spot are the cute island foxes, grey whales, dolphins, sea lions, lots of birds including pelicans, island scrub chase and many more. Number 7 is California's youngest national park, which was designated so in 2013, Pinnacles National Park. Being composed of interesting rock formations, imposing pinnacles and caves, Pinnacles National Park is perfect for people who prefer hiking on trails that are less visited than the ones in the bigger parks. Other possible activities are viewing California condors, rock climbing and exploring caves. As the park is split between two regions, you should visit Pinnacles west side. You'll get to the Chaparral Trailhead parking area and have a clear view of the Pinnacles high peaks. Another place you should visit is for example the beautiful Bear Gulch Cave Trail. Pinnacles is also home to numerous animal species like canyon bats, mountain lions, hummingbirds and condors. As temperatures in summer might get too hot, visiting this park in spring or in fall would be best. Number 5 and 6 are Sequoia and Kings Canyon National Parks. While these two are technically two independent parks, the National Park Service administers Sequoia and Kings Canyon National Parks together. The distance from Sequoia National Park to Kings Canyon National Park is about 27 miles in north direction and, following the General's Highway route, 108 miles by car. Sequoia and Kings Canyon boast breathtaking landscapes with deep canyons and huge trees. And there are some impressive sites like the General Sherman tree, which is the world's largest tree by volume, Morro Rock with its breathtaking views, Kings Canyon Scenic Byway and the imposing Roaring River Falls. As Sequoia and Kings Canyon range from the low foothills to the peaks of the Sierra Nevada, the parks are home to many different animals, from black bears, bobcats and grey foxes in the foothills 
to squirrels, mountain lions and mule deers in the montane forests and meadows, to Sierra Nevada bighorn sheep, marmots and mountain yellow legged frogs in the subalpine and alpine areas. While one day is enough to visit all the main sites in Sequoia and Kings Canyon, you should plan to stay two or three days if you want to experience some of the best vistas and hike some harder trails. I would recommend to visit these national parks from June to August, when the weather is warm and the sun shines most of the time. Number 4. One of the most fascinating national parks in the entire country, Death Valley, the largest national park in the lower 48 states of the US. The lowest point in North America, scorching heat, salt flats and sand dunes, Death Valley boasts some scenery that is out of this world. Some highlights you should see are the colorful artist's palette, the impressive mesquite flat sand dunes, which were mentioned in my video about the 30 most beautiful natural sites in California, check it out, and Badwater Basin, the lowest point in the USA at 280 feet below sea level. Death Valley is also home to diverse wildlife like coyotes, bighorn sheep, chipmunks, kangaroo rats, desert tortoise and jackrabbits. Due to the temperatures, the best time to visit this place would be in spring or in late fall. If you want to see most of the major sites, remember Death Valley is big, plan to visit for three days. Number three is the magical Joshua Tree National Park. Joshua Tree with its breathtaking scenery boasts beautiful sunsets, rugged rock formations and thousands of the park's name-giving Joshua trees. When visiting this national park, you can accept to see ground squirrels, lizards and birds, due to them being active in daytime. At night, this desert's wildlife is more active. There are snakes, kangaroo rats, bighorn sheep, jackrabbits and coyotes. The best time for viewing animals is dawn and dusk when those active at night and day are awake. Also Joshua Tree's gorgeous scenery is most enchanting at dawn and dusk. My tip would be to camp a couple of nights in the park, as gazing at the stars is fascinating there. To explore the backcountry, you should spend more than just one day anyway. The best time to visit is October to November or March to May, where you could expect to experience the park's spring wildflowers in addition to the other highlights like Skull Rock, Hidden Valley Nature Trail, Jumbo Rocks and Choya Cactus Garden. Number two and therefore one of the most popular national parks in California is Redwood National and State Parks. In this awesome park, National Park Service and California State Parks work together to protect not just some of the tallest trees on earth, but also many miles of rugged coastline, wild rivers, endless meadows and oak forests. If you want to explore all the popular attractions in Redwood National and State Parks, like for example Stout Grove, Fern Canyon, Gold Bluffs Beach, the Avenue of the Giants, Redwood Creek Overlook and more, you should stay two or three days. You can expect to see bald eagles, California sea lions, elks, giant green sea anemones and also banana slugs and yellow spotted millipedes. If you want to visit Redwood when the weather is sunny, you should plan your trip between June and September. The other months it will be cooler but also less crowded. California's top national park, the number one in this video is Yosemite National Park. Yosemite covers just under a whopping 760,000 acres of land, about three hours southeast of Sacramento. Spending weeks in Yosemite is easy to do with its 20 miles of bike paths and 800 miles of trails. The best time to visit this national park is late spring or early summer, but don't expect to be alone. Yosemite was the most visited California national park in 2019 with about 4.4 million visitors. On your trip be sure to check out one of the many waterfalls including Yosemite Falls, Bridal Veil Falls, Nevada Falls, 
and Vernal Falls. On your hikes, be sure to keep an eye out for some of the diverse wildlife. Yosemite is home to animals like black bears, Sierra Nevada bighorn sheep, Sierra Nevada red fox, Pacific fisher, squirrels, mountain lions, frogs, birds, lizards and snakes. Thanks for watching so far. Now, as promised, some important tips. Getting into some national parks like Yosemite and Redwood can be difficult due to the large number of visitors. Booking tours and guided hikes can help guarantee entrance into the park. Here are some packing tips. Use a backpack to be mobile while in the parks. Bring enough snacks and even more important, enough water. Don't forget sunglasses, sunscreen, a hat and good shoes. As national parks are huge, plan your time there. Book a guided tour, not just for your guaranteed entrance, but also for getting the experience you're looking for. Last but not least, are you planning to visit more than just one park a year? Then consider to buy an annual park pass, which is your ticket to more than 2000 federal recreation sites. National parks, national wildlife refugees, national forests and more.